everyone, Sam here. Welcome back, back, back again to Sammy Vostok. Today we'll be working on this little gap here, but just in case you don't know, my mods and asset list is in the description below, as well as the map information and also my Instagram and stuff and blah, 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 blah. So that's all there if you want. Now, so in today's video, we'll be working on this gap here. It looks really odd, right? It's it's a good location to build on. So what I want to do is I want to pack in as many people as possible while still making it look presentable and fit in with the overall theme of the whole city. So let's get into it. It's going to be a very Russian theme area. Um, some people might think of it as like a bit of a ghetto Russian style area. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see how it turns out. So let's go. So I started with this roundabout in the middle and also the monorail goes directly through it. So I thought it would be a good area for, um, I guess it's I guess it's just good to have the monorail there anyway. But um, the roundabout is in the middle as a bit of a centerpiece. And you'll notice that I added on that other main road there. I didn't do it exactly straight. I wanted to do it on a bit of an angle just to give the whole area a bit more character as well. And the actual the terrain of this area it's not flat it is a little bit hilly as well which you'll see towards just throughout the whole video because in some areas I use the wall barrier um, just to kind of help with the terrain levels and it looks a lot better if you use the wall barrier as well it looks more maintained so you can see this is going to be the main street of the area it has the monorail there and um, the there's I'm gonna put a monorail station in the middle of this roundabout as well and um, yeah, it fits in quite well overall. Now, so this whole area, it's going to be basically residential area with a few little shops and maybe a few little offices throughout, but mostly residential. And um, I think the population ends up being about 14,000, which is quite a lot for such a small little area. Um, yeah, it's, it's really not that big at all. So the theme is just a very Russian, Soviet style, a lot of housing blocks. Um, there's going to be big chunks of open green space, so that's also kind of common in that style as well. So lots of little playgrounds as well, so if you look at Russian style areas, they have random playgrounds everywhere. And I mean everywhere, it's really unusual, so you'll notice I did that as well. Um, I'll add in a few parking lots here and there to make it look even more alive. And yeah. I think it looks it looks good overall in the end. It fits in very well, and I'd love to do more of these types of uh, Russian and Soviet style suburbs throughout the whole city because we are building a Russian style city. Remember, <laughs> so yeah, um, this roundabout here. I think uh, having this roundabout it really just brings the whole area to life. It really creates just that centerpiece. Um, and just that meeting area of all of the roads and then of course the roundabout is going to make it a lot more easier um, so I just really love doing the Russian style buildings I don't know why I just I, I'm always so fascinated with how it always like how they laid out all of the buildings the housing blocks and things like that and then in the middle of all of the housing blocks they usually have the park for um, like seating and playgrounds and stuff like that so yeah, it's it's really like it's really good. So what do you think of the whole Russian style housing block? I mean, usually it's not that good. Usually it's like the kind of poor it's for poorer people, right? Also, I should mention if you want to use any of these Russian style style buildings, just go into my mods and asset list and then throughout the the whole list, there are random buildings that I have added in but if you go to the bottom there's also a lot of collections down there so you need to make sure that you go check out the collections of things because a lot of you will say oh blah 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 isn't isn't in your list and it's pretty much always right down the bottom in a collection which you need which you need to click on and open up yourself so just just check that out if you're if you can't find something in there um, this part here this is commercial I did commercial here because it is one of the main roads that connects up to the other side of the peninsula there. So I thought, yeah, let's just put in some commercial um, in case it does get noisy along there. Now this part here, I put in the wall barrier. Now I used the same wall barrier as I did in the plane, uh, the airport video. So go check that out if you haven't already. Um, just keeping with the same kind of rock wall theme in case you didn't know what it was. And um, yeah, so. I feel like there's not really much else I can say. I mean, I just really enjoy this type of building 
uh, all of these buildings like this and then doing these big housing estate things and I want to do a whole lot more of these around the downtown area and then coming up in the future I'm going to do a uh, the subway network maybe that'll be quite soon maybe the next episode uh, we need to do the major hospital we need to do the big university area and we need to do some more villages I think up in the mountains that, that should be good some villages way out there and then we can connect them all up that'll be good do some farmlands and yeah we need to get into all of the industrial stuff but I mean I still have a lot of building to do. Oh, and this this building here that is a high school. Just in case you're wondering, so so I add in a high school and a primary school, an elementary school in this area. I think I also add in a crematorium. I add in a clinic as well. And don't you just love the parking lots? It just oh, it just looks so good. It just looks so good. And then I added in this older style. Is that kind of more American? That yellowy style parking lot. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd leave this bit here as open green space because it kind of, it's, first of all, it doesn't really, f a building doesn't really fit in, in that space, but it is a good spot for like a lookout on the whole city and like the water and things like that. So yeah, it looks good. Now, just in case you haven't noticed how I've actually designed it. So for this area, there's three main roads that go through it so there's the one in the middle which has the roundabout connection and then there's one on either side so one at the back one at the front and then all of the smaller roads inside those larger roads those smaller roads don't go anywhere so they're kind of they, they're dead end roads basically they just loop in and back to the main road so the reason why I did that is because I don't want the cars to use those smaller roads to get to other areas in the city i want the cars to use the larger four lane roads there so by doing that it just makes it a lot more easier for um driving in general it's just a lot more easier to follow the main roads but like i said i don't want them to use the smaller roads as their main way to get around so i'm just kind of dividing that up a bit and that's it's not always good to do that in real life because that is kind of segregating a lot of things it makes it makes it makes it a lot it makes it really disconnected but yeah i mean i'm, do, I'm doing it anyway i'm still doing it so but yeah um Maybe that's something that you guys can try in case in case you didn't do that already. So instead of doing big grids with your smaller roads, you can just use your larger roads to do, to do the grid. And then within each larger road block, you can do smaller little road networks that don't really go anywhere. So those smaller roads, they're really just for connecting up to the buildings and that's basically it. So if you think of like a housing estate where you drive in like the fancy gate, you have a fancy gate to go into a housing estate and then you just have all the roads inside that housing estate. So that's kind of like the same thing, except just more in a cityscape area. Now it's also really close to the highway. So I end up adding in a really thick barrier of trees and honestly I didn't put that many buildings up there anyway just in case it does disturb them a lot but I, I don't think it really does disturb them in the game but I mean in real life I wouldn't want to live right next to a main highway I wouldn't want to um, yeah oh yeah also I'm adding in some little shops there in case you missed that uh, I, th I just I basically sprinkled shops around the sprinkle sprinkle and um, yeah so let's go have a look at how it looks completely done Okay everyone, here it is. I love how it looks. I think it looks so Russian-y. It looks, I think it looks realistic, right? But I'm noticing that there's, there's some flying cars down here that looks like they're hovering a little bit. Look, oh my God, why are they? <laughs> why are they hovering like that? Excuse me, is that Harry Potter? Because notice how there's always like flying cars around my city and everyone's like, oh, is that Harry Potter? Could be. What is Harry up to? Okay. Well, look at it. Don't you just love how it looks? I think it looks. I think it looks really, really good, and it really fits in with the whole area. Fits in with the look of the city. For over this part at the back, in case you didn't notice, I tried to do it not as dense as the other parts, just because we are towards the outskirts of the city, and I don't know if I'll build anything up in here, so this is kind of like the edge of the city, and I didn't want it to be really dense, so just trying to transition it down to the trees, and it would look funny if it's super dense and then it goes to nothing, but if we just turn it like that, so you can see that the buildings out here are also a lot uh, smaller, they're lower density, 
compared to the other ones that are more towards that big roundabout in the middle. So it's just trying to transition it down into low, 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 and then trees. So this is the main little area, and oh my god, look at how many people are using it. It's it's so crazy. Look at how many people are inside waiting. And I know that some of you are going to be like, oh, but it's in a roundabout. But I think it's fine because this area, um, the traffic is very, very minimal. Uh, there's like, just watching it now, there's really very rarely any traffic. I think a lot of them are just relying on the monorail. You can see a lot of people are there waiting. And if we go inside, let's go inside using first person. Look at them all. Oh my God. No one wants to go the other way, but oh, oh, we're overlapping. But yeah, this, oh, hang on a second. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh my God. No wonder it's so laggy over here right now. That is a lot of people using it, but I mean, that's good. I'd rather them use public transport than, you know, driving and congesting everywhere. So off, off it goes, but let's pause. I want to see what is the capacity of the monorail at the moment. So if I just go click on there. Okay, so, oh, so it's actually four people over. That's weird, I didn't know it does that. But what do you guys think of this kind of, this main area here? I mean, it, I, Mm, I, I should have put like some some food trucks or something. Maybe I will do that to make it look more lively But yeah, what do you think? I think it looks very Russian style and th it does a weird little connection thing here I don't know why it does that um, But you know what? It's such a minor detail Look at how many people are using it. Oh my god. I love that and then and then if we look up here I just love how it just it looks very Russian style with all of the the houses along the side We've got the monorail which makes it a little bit more industrial a little bit rustic and if you're wondering why I didn't put the monorail in the middle of the road here and that's because the connection actually if I just pause it connecting it to the other line up here um, doing it from the road across here created some really odd um, shapes in the line so I had to disconnect it and just do it on the side of the road like that and then so I also moved the monorail station from here down to here as well and then so just in, just a reminder the other one is over here so it just goes straight through and obviously a lot of them are using it so let's have a look at the other areas as well so we have this big area here you can see that there's the really big buildings there and I put a large bit of green space in the middle just to really open up the whole area we have the more smaller side this we have the more smaller buildings on the left which is I still like them as well and, um, and then if we go up here a little bit we have some more really large buildings which are, with a lot of green space in the middle as well I, I still think it looks pretty good and I love that I I did the um, like these buildings down here that follow the main road and then they kind of had that that curve on the side of the intersection as well this type of curve there it just looks really nice i really like how it's turned out and um yeah and then this part over here we've got the nice boardwalk front i was going to extend this bridge over to here but i thought you know what that's a bit much because they can just go across this bridge or they can go across this bridge so and then they also got the highway connection right there just to make it really really easy so yeah what do you guys think of this area So guys, thank you all for watching. That's probably all I've got for you guys today. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to let me know what you think. I I said this a lot, but I just really like this area. So I hope you guys really liked it as well. So don't forget to leave a comment and suggestion for future videos and subscribe if you're new. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow.